One of the highlights of Parshas Naso is the Birchas Kohanim. The bracha that the Kohanim are commanded to give the Jewish people. In the land of Israel, the bracha is given every day. Outside the land of Israel, in the Sephardic community, it's given every day. But in the Ashkenazi community, it's only given on the Shalosh Regalim, on the main major holidays, and on Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. And when that bracha is given, the Kohanim are told to give it to Bnei Yisrael, all of the Jewish people. Rabbi Yisrael Mimajitz explains that every single Jew deserves to have a bracha from a Kohen. Whether a Jew is important or not important, wealthy or not wealthy, whether uh, an individual is a righteous person or not a righteous person, everyone deserves a bracha from the Kohanim. And we're told that this bracha is called the Nesias Kapayim. Nesias Kapayim is the raising of one's palms, of one's hands. Why is it that the Kohanim were, had to raise their hands? And the people, all of us know that the Kohanim raise their hands and hold their fingers out when they are making this bracha. Why couldn't they keep, just keep their hands to the sides? So one possibility is to look at another place in the Torah, two places in the Torah, where we find a similar idea to something which is being raised. When the Jewish people were in a war with Amalek, the Torah says that Moshe raised up his arms. And when Moshe's arms were raised, the Jewish people were victorious. And because of that, when he would become weak, Aaron and Nechur would hold his arms up and give him support. Similarly, when the Jewish people were struggling, struggling with a plague in which they were bitten by snakes, Hashem tells Moshe to take a copper snake, to put it on a staff, raise it up high, and people who look at it will be cured. The, the Mishnah, Meseches Rosh Hashanah, questions and says, is it a snake that cures or heals people? Is it a, a raising of the hands, or the hands of Moshe, which is victorious in war? Rather, the Mishnah says that the, in both of these cases, the people are looking up. They're looking in the direction of up towards the heavens. And that when the Jewish people look up towards the heavens, when they look to Shemayim, when they look to Hashem, and they understand that Hashem is the one who really heals a person from sickness, and Hashem is the one who allows a person to be victorious or a nation to be victorious in battle, then they will be successful. Similarly, one can say that when it comes to the hands of the Kohanim that are raised, that people also recognize that although the Kohanim are the ones who are giving the bracha via their hands as a message from HaKadosh Baruch Hu to the Jewish people, the Kohanim themselves are not the one who are inherently giving the blessing. The blessing comes from Hashem. They are just the vehicle by which the blessing goes from Hashem to the people. And as such, it is important for us to understand that when we look up to Hashem, for blessing in our lives, then we can expect to get the blessing that He bestows upon us. When we look simply to another person, to another human being for blessing, even if it's a righteous person, and today people get brachos from all kinds of people, many who are righteous and worthy of giving brachos, others who are not as righteous and worthy of giving brachos. But when we get a bracha and we get a blessing from someone else who is righteous, for example, it is not that individual who is giving us the blessing but as an individual who is being a messenger from Hashem because of their merits, because of the way that they live their lives, they are being a messenger from Hashem. And Hashem is the one who bestows the bracha, the blessing upon us. We can never lose sight of the fact that all that we have in life which is good, all of the blessings that we have, have their source from HaKadosh Baruch Hu. So when the Jewish people look and see, and hear, we don't want to see because we don't look at the Kohanim when they're giving their bracha, but when we know that the Kohanim raised their hands, they raised their hands to teach us that we always have to be looking up to the heavens, looking up to Hashem as our source of bracha, as our source of blessing. May we all be worthy of God's constant blessing of us as individuals, for our families, and for the Jewish people, for Bnei Yisrael. Thank you for listening, and have a good Shabbos.